Watch it! Get your knee out of my face! My shoes has guards, you stink! Uh, Ow! What was that? Quit your belly aching, we're on! Way too show for that. I hear you've been having some trouble. No, oh, this is a bad one, Sergeant. Worst I've seen. Not long ago, we had this region secure under the supervision of one Colonel Blitz. That changed when Blitz was injured in the line of duty. Medics did what they could, but he sustained a massive, disfiguring head wound. Disfiguring? He lost his mind. And now, that was the last we saw or heard of him. Look at this. No. I'm afraid so. He's gone tan. And he took his soldiers with him. Those that didn't turn, melted down for scrap. Your mission is to proceed through the white picket fence and track down the colonel. When you fight, eliminate all defenses and terminate the colonel. Men, we got a job to do. Hello everyone, my name is Master of Rothless and welcome to Army Men RTS. This is a real-time strategy game that I used to play on the GameCube and now I just realized that, wait a minute, it, it also had a PC version and after trying to find it for a good like week or so, I ended up just getting a torrented version of uh, Army Men RTS. Now, essentially this game is pretty much what you kind of used to play with when you owned uh, army men toys you know taking a bunch of tan dudes and green dudes and making them fight it out and that's kind of what this game is um, except you know with base building and all those uh, good things it was made by uh, I believe 3 do which I think are extinct as a company or maybe they're making some mobile games I don't know uh, so ultimately this is basically my childhood. I'm just basically I'm just playing this because nostalgia, and that's it. Now you got your campaign, you got your great battles, and then also there is multiplayer. Surprisingly, I will try to figure out how that works. I I feel like it's I have to use Hamachi or something. Uh, great battles are just you know single missions, and the last one of these is actually really cool. But you know they they don't pertain to the story at all. And then the story, oh you know, it's uh over the top action movie story if you've seen uh, a little movie called apocalypse now and have read the book heart of darkness then you would understand what the story of army men rts is but without spoiling let's get right into the campaign with the thin green line did i mention this game was old this game is really fucking old It seems that one of our own has seen fit to go over to the other side. That man was a colonel in our army, and I'm not gonna lie to you. He's good. Everything past this fence behind me is his, so if we're gonna stop him, well, it all starts right here. We gotta break their line of defense and push through that yard before they know what hit him. Am I making myself clear? Sir, yes, sir! Should I go into more detail? Sir, no, sir! How about a satellite photo or one of those fancy holographic projections? Sir, no! That's, That's okay, okay, sir! Good, cause we don't have any. All right, boys, let's get to work. It's really unsettling that his mouth doesn't move at all. All right, there we go, I just had to fix up some things so you know what it's a little bit weird actually that uh not all the cinematics have that quality um level ex of expertise that the intro cinematic had i mean that was some that was a really good cinematic actually like i'm not even joking around 
It looks so detailed, like it came out of a cartoon or some shit like that. In any case, let's go ahead and move forward. By the way, I don't know what attack move at is actually in this game. A little bit uh, problematic, but whatever. Units auto fire. So, I'm okay with that. You know, I used to actually just spam out a hundred of these when I was actually playing the GameCube version of this game. Uh, that could probably explain why it took me hours to beat a mission because I was just basically spamming out hundreds of these grunts. Sarge is uh, your special guy. As your special guy. Ooh, a bumblebee. I mean, no, a ladybug. Oh, God. I called it a bumblebee. I don't know my bugs. If it was a bugology class, I would fail it. But Sarge is like your special guy who um, has a super pistol, I guess. He one shots everybody. I have grenadiers mixed into this army, got some grunts. So I'm being a little bit more strategic than my nine year old self, I suppose. There's some butterflies and all that stuff. Sadly, you cannot domesticate the butterflies. Green technology has not gone that has not gone that far to incorporate Xeno races, but you know that is a okay. So like you were able to see in the intro cinematic, very reminiscent of Apocalypse Now. If I had to do an entire fucking book report on Apocalypse Now, that was not fun. The movie was good, but like, I mean, not a book report on Apocalypse Now, a book report on Heart of Darkness, which is. Um, a book that Apocalypse Now was based on, and then I had to do a movie report on Apocalypse Now as well. I don't want to do shit that I'm told to do. Movie and book were good, but man, I don't want to make a paper on it. I feel like that's what a lot of the stuff I read in high school and college. Alright, anyway. Yeah, Lily Livers, how about you move up? Oh, more ladybugs. Not bumblebees, oh. Understood. I swear, if there was an insectoid class, I would fail it. But there is a, a bumblebee mission in this game, by the way. I mean, not a bumblebee mission, an ant mission, and a cockroach mission. But you have to unlock it. By the way, we're going to pull back a little bit. Sometimes there's a little bit of uh, some problems with the unit pathing and stuff like that. Microring in this game is not something you want to do too much. You can't do StarCraft 2 micro because this game does not have... I guess the input of StarCraft 2 Micro. One of the things I do love about this game is the fact that it is very reminiscent of Supreme Commander in that you can harvest the dead corpses of your enemies, so that's always good. By the way, actually, I was looking up on Amazon. Um, it is 100 bucks for a physical copy of the PC version of this game. Uh, GameCube is 50 so you can play the game, it's just like, you know, it's just, it's just not feasible. Unit lost. Honestly, I don't know what happened to um, the rights to this game. I don't know why there isn't an Army Men uh, RTS 2. Maybe I'll play Sarge's Revenge on this uh, on this channel. Take these my grenades, they taste yummy. Ten. What is that? Tan control territories. Uh, in order to gain resources in this game, you also have to like harvest these toys that are littered around the maps and stuff like that. But, you know, we don't need to do that shit because there's no base building right now. How about you guys get over there? Throw some grenades at that fool. This is a fairly short mission, so let's just kill some more guys. Take the long scenic route. And uh, let's just end this mission off. No bonus objectives for this one, which kind of sucks. Move it, ladies. We're just getting started. Oh. Wait. Silver. I was given silver. Wait a minute. That's full of shit. How was I given silver? Did I forget to do it on hard? No, I did it on hard. Hmm. I gotta redo that fucking mission again. I can't get a silver. I need to get gold. What is this shit? Alright, in any case, I will uh, see you guys next time, actually, for the next video. 
as currently it is 4 in the morning and I am dead fucking tired. Good night.